let's come back and uh, finish off your reasoning questions which are uh, related to ammonia <coughs> let's read this question what did they give us in uh, no is paramagnetic in gaseous state but diamagnetic in liquid and solid state okay very nice question this is let's see so we very well know paramagnetic means whenever it has unpaid electrons or odd electrons we call them as paramagnetic electron paramagnetic in nature so whenever they're paid or when you get an even number we call it as diamagnetic so they said no let us write the configuration or count the number of electrons so in nitrogen uh, the configuration one is two 2s2 2p3 then this is done for nitrogen for oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p 8 isn't it so to 4 4 5 6 7 8 i mean i have to see the total number of electrons in n is equal to 2 subshell 5 here the total number of electrons n is equal to 2 subshell that is 6 total electrons are 11 so, when the number of electrons are odd, it is 11, isn't it? That is why NO is paramagnetic. In which state? Paramagnetic in gaseous state. This is a gaseous form in gaseous state. So, when I have to come back to liquid and solid state, so what's going to happen? In liquid and solid state, NO is going to form a dimer. We have also seen the structure. So, most important keyword, NO forms a dimer. Dimer means two molecules together. So, when it is trying to form a dimer, there is a sharing of electrons. When shares, sharing of electron happens, it automatically attains that even number. That it becomes diamagnetic, isn't it? So, it forms a dimer. Hence, diamagnetic in nature. In nature. Done. Simple logic. Let's come back and see this. They have asked me two important things. They have asked me to write acidic oxides of phosphorus. Okay, it is a direct question. Hope they give you. This is very easy and interesting. Not, there is nothing interesting I should tell you. Common simple example is this. Acidic oxides of phosphorus. There are two acidic oxides. One is P4O6 and the next one is P4O10. And neutral oxides of nitrogen. Of nitrogen there are again two which we have already done the structures I'm not explaining these I'll do it and oxides of nitrogen the first one NO and N2O both the laughing gas as well as uh, your NO both are acid, neutral oxides of nitrogen so simple question please note this is the way you write and for this these are the examples